this trip to Tanzania, I've got my good luck charm, the lovely Miss Shelley, along. You know, hunting with ladies is not something I'm used to doing. Even the trackers are wondering what's up. Who's the new team member of Rugged X? And it's kind of a hard adjustment for me, I'm just saying. <laughs> We're hunting. Okay. It's called Rugged Expedition. I know, but... How am I supposed to have lipstick on my lips <laughs> if it's called Rugged Expeditions? You're lost. Let's go. Well, you look great anyhow. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Presented by the Pepe Family's Jonas Brothers Studios. Museum quality taxidermy since 1908. This northern section of Tanzania, bordering the Serengeti Park, is known for the thriving populations of wildlife. What a treat getting to see all the diverse wildlife you can find here. We're hunting with famed African PH, Adam Clements, who's got a reputation for getting his clients big bull buff. Big buff genetics are here in this northern section of Tanzania, which is famed for huge Cape Buffalo that hunters' dreams are made of. Most of the big herds of buff contain mostly young bulls and cows. Rarely do you find a trophy bull mixed in with them at this time of year. Every once in a while you might see one, but it's pretty rare to find a good one. He was close, and he was okay, but in this part of Africa, you know, I just felt we could do better. Nice old loner bull, though. What he said, for those of you that don't speak fluent Swahili, is if we drive them around down there and they get the wind, it might make them run back this way. I don't know if that's what he said, but it sounds like a good idea. We'd spotted another couple of big bulls, and one of them looked like he was worth a closer look. Come here, he lays down. finally laid down, it gave us a chance to sneak in for a lot closer look and just see how good he was. Especially all of a sudden, man. Uh, two weeks ago, this was like a zoo in here. This is where it rained really hard. All these water holes are full of water. It was a zoo, and that hasn't rained. They're still hanging around. Mm -hmm. Last time again, there was a buffalo stuck in the mud there. Oh, you're kidding. And there's two bulls, and the other one was trying to get the other one out. Huh. And he got him out. We were sitting there. One of the techniques used when buff hunting is to check out the water holes for any fresh sign. 
If you see some fresh big buff tracks, then you follow them up until you get a look at the buff and see what kind of headgear he's sporting. Sometimes a water hole holds a little bit more than just tracks. When you've got hippo mamas and calves cornered, you're asking for trouble. Hippos kill a lot of people in Africa every year. And since uh, I'm not ready to add to that statistic, we thought it'd be a good idea to ease away and leave the nervous herd alone. Next day, we decided to get up bright and early for a long, chilly drive to the far end of the hunting concession so that we could get there before the sun got up too high on the horizon and then all the animals have gone back to bed or they're hiding in the shade. But we gotta get there, quick. As we came around a bend on the edge of the forest, we found a small herd of nervous elephant moving through the morning mist along with a few big buff. When we saw the pride of lions that were laying on a kill, it all made sense why the bulls were all a little bit uptight. But getting a look at this big Daga boy on the right, lions or not, we need to get in there and see if we can get a crack at this big bull. Okay, we need to try to get up to that other tree where that log is. Yeah. Be much closer and be a good shot before we Just go across this open. Yeah, we'll just go put that tree between us. See if we can make it there. First one. <laughs> oh, look at the other one's coming back. Holy crap, what the? Look at him trying to pick him up. I have never seen that before. Beating up the dead buddy. Walk up there if they'll run away. If not, then I'll call the car. Let's go see. Wait, just a I don't think they're too happy about losing their patriarch here. I 
here comes Muddy too. He wants to get in the action. Yeah. Awesome. No, no, thank you, man. That was awesome. Okay. What a nice buff, huh? What a bull. You know, buffalo hunting never gets old. And Tanzania is for sure the honey hole for buffalo hunting. Adam Clements and the whole crew have just put on a fabulous safari. To get an old, old bull like this that's hard, you can see he's all beat up. I mean, he's done breeding. He's the kind of bull you want to take when you're over here in Africa. He's got it all. He's got a good drop. He's got really good hooks, especially for an old bull. Usually you're going to see these buffalo will be down here and broken off or worn off, but he still has good looks even though he's getting old. Just saying. And he's a really good, really good buffalo. Classic Serengeti shape. What more can you ask for? At the end of the day, getting to spend time with the love of your life, doing what you were born to do, is a true blessing. And I thank the good Lord above each and every day for everything he's given me. <laughs>